Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dodgy and I had decided to make a telonym account and I went on my Instagram and I asked you guys to send me anonymous questions. So sit back, relax, <laughs> grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy and let's see what you guys asked me. Okay, first question. When is your birthday? My birthday is July 19th. So it's coming up real quick. Um, I'm trying to actually reach a thousand subscribers by my birthday. We are currently at 770 something. So I don't know. I don't know if we're going to make it to my birthday, but um, that's just my goal for this year anyways. So, hey, how old are you? So I don't like to tell how old I am. I know that's so typical of a girl, but I will let you know that I was born in the 90s, so I guess you do the math. This one, <laughs> this one is not really a question, but uh, this anonymous person said, you are so amazing and I appreciate you and I'm grateful to have met you. And that really means a lot to me. I'm really happy to have been a positive influence in this person's life. It's pretty much what I strive to do. I try to be as much of a positive person as I can. I know it doesn't always seem like that with my friends. Like, <laughs> I try to be a positive influence to people around me as much as I possibly can. Um, mental health is a big deal, guys. So I do have my days where I am struggling for my closest, closest best friends who know what I go through on a daily life, I do very much appreciate you guys because there's a lot of times where I get down too. And it's really hard for me, especially when I'm trying to be a happy, positive person and trying to be a positive influence for those around me. So thank you so much for, for that. I, I know it wasn't a question, but I very much appreciated it. Next question, you have siblings? No, I do not. I'm actually an only child. That is why I'm kind of a spoiled brat. You can ask anybody. I grew up getting pretty much anything and everything that I wanted. I had very loving parents who, uh, yeah, I was, I was the only one. So if I wanted it, I got it. And now as an adult, I'm like, I see it. I want it. I like it. I got it. I know that's so cliche, but it is just, it is what it is. I am learning, though, how to share. Uh, being in a relationship with a person who has a lot of siblings has taught me a lot about consideration of other people. So that's something. Next question. How tall are you? I am about five foot two. I'm almost the size of a normal size person. But no, for real. Um, I am five two. I sometimes am 5'3", depends on what doctor wants to measure me, but yeah, I'm pretty small. But I like my size. I, I like being this tiny. I'm fun size. I mean, come on. Who doesn't like a fun size kind of girl? Who was the last person you took a photo with? The last person I took a photo with was with my fiance. We were at the beach and we had a really good time. It was um, our anniversary, so we wanted to go out and relax, and it was it was a good time. We had a lot of fun. Okay, this one, <laughs> okay. All right, this one has a little spice to it. They said, what size are your yaboos? Yaboos? Um, so I don't have yaboos, but um, if I were to guess what size a uh, yabu would be, it would probably be about the size of a melon, I guess. <laughs> so this one's pretty interesting. It made me think a little bit. Um, it says, was there something you often dreamed about as a kid and what was it? So I know when I was a kid, when I was really, really little, I wanted to be a veterinarian for the longest time because I really loved animals. But as I grew older, I found out that, you know, it's not always you get to pet the kitties and puppies and, and take care of them. Sometimes you actually have to put them down. Um, and I just, I couldn't do that. So ever since then, I just didn't want to be a veterinarian anymore. I just love animals too much to see them pass. It's bad enough that I've had pets of my own that I had to let go so I, it would probably kill me to watch other people go through the same kind of suffering next question how would you react if i told you 
I'm in love with you. Dodgy has a secret admirer? Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so this is like one of those questions. It's like if if it's like a like a, a genuine like right now, like if if you if you asked me today that you were in love with me, I would be very very flattered. But considering I'm in a relationship long term, I wouldn't be able to do anything with that. I'd be like, I I I, I appreciate it. I am very flattered. Now, if I was single, if I was available on the market, then I would say, let's go on a date. <laughs> but thank you for the question. That was very flattering. Next question. What thoughts can't you get rid of at the moment? Most of the time, my thoughts are like ugh, all over the place. So I think at the time when I'm going to go off of the time that this question was posted, at the time, my my only thought at the moment was completing the Outlast trials and going through all the different types of rigs and trying to figure out which one was more convenient versus the ones that were like, eh. But yeah, for the past, like, I don't know, two weeks, I've been playing Outlast trials, like, over, it, well, it's well over, like, 30-something plus hours by now it's it's pretty sad and pathetic next question what's your favorite scary movie well i would have to say scream but i would have to say that it is pretty much any one of the texas chainsaw massacre movies i pretty much love them all except for maybe the last one it was just eh, it was all right but it wasn't it wasn't the texas chainsaw massacre style that I'm used to. So that would definitely be my favorite scary movie. Next question. Do you like cats or dogs? I actually like them both. The only reason why I do not have a cat is because my partner unfortunately is allergic to cats. So otherwise I would most definitely have a black cat and I would most definitely name him or her Bagheera. Next question. What sport do you not like at all? I would definitely say golf. Golf is probably the most boring sport for me to watch. I would honestly much rather watch paint dry. I don't mind playing it. I just don't like watching it. It's just, it's so boring and I don't know how anybody finds it entertaining. It's only entertaining when you're the one actually playing. Next question. Your favorite place on earth? I would definitely say it's anywhere where there's a skate park. That's one of my most favorite hobbies to do is to skate. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I am a quad skater and I just started skating last year and it's really an awesome sport. The community is great. So uh, definitely outside at a skate park somewhere, doesn't matter where. I don't know if this person thinks I'm still in school or what, but they asked, what was the worst grade you have gotten so far? Um, so far it would be an F in the Outlast Trials. Um, no fault of mine, okay? Like, let me just put it out there. I was doing good, my teammates were all dying, I tried to carry us all, but the bad guys were just too strong, there were too many, and we all died, so an F. We all died an F. That was my failing grade. That's the worst grade that I've ever gotten. Next question. What are your plans for the upcoming days? Well, um, my plans, other than busy working, working, working all day and night long, I will most likely be relaxing. Uh, I usually work Monday through Friday and I try to get all my relaxation and you know, regular house chores done over the weekend. And then I have to prepare again for the next week. So <laughs> it's a, a little bit of a combination between work and relaxation all at once. And also playing online with my friends, of course. Next question. Do you answer all questions? Hmm. So there is only one question which I did not answer on here. And that was because they were asking a very inappropriate question that I did not feel comfortable posting or sharing. <laughs> like, gross. <laughs> no, nah. it was it was one of those ick kind of questions that I don't tolerate. So. No to those. Um, 
yes to anything else pretty much i'm i'm pretty much an open book i'm just not gonna give certain individuals their gratification if you will okay i'm gonna answer a couple more questions and then i'm gonna wrap it up for the night okay this one's a good one what do you think of being with someone who smokes now this is a debate um and i would be a hypocrite if i said that i wouldn't be able to be with them because i know when i was younger I used to smoke. I used to vape. I used to smoke cigarettes. Um, I tried chew and all of it is terrible. I would not recommend it. Um, at the time I was in a very, very bad place and now I'm in a better spot. So um, if they were currently smoking, I would want for that person to quit, but I would have patience enough to allow them to make that decision for themselves. What was the last thing you watched on TV? The last thing that I watched on TV is on, I think it's on Netflix. It's either on Netflix or Hulu. It's on one of those channels, but it was the show Barry. If you haven't seen Barry, I highly recommend it. It's very funny. It's like a drama slash comedy. It's, it's really good. We're on the last season they're not making any more barry shows so that's kind of disappointing but yeah i really like barry barry is really good and the last question for the night are you always late or on time <laughs> i am always late um i have to set several alarms for me to even get up and then i have to set my alarm like maybe an hour or two prior and put it in my head that I have to be at a place an hour before I'm actually supposed to be there because otherwise if I leave at the time that I'm supposed to, I'm going to be late. I'm always going to be late. So I have to arrange things in my mind so that way I'm actually on time for things. All right, so that was a lot of questions. I hope you guys like this episode. Um, I do have a telonym, guys, so if you would like to send me an anonymous question, please be respectful and don't ask me any sexual or private information like that. I won't answer them. I'm just going to tell you right now. But if you have any other questions or if you just want to send me a telonym, whatever, uh, I will link that down below for you guys. Um, if you like this series, leave a like, let me know in the comment section and maybe I'll read more. This was just a fun thing that I wanted to do. It was something different and yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you are subscribed, please be sure to hit the bell notification, that way you are aware of the next time that I post. I love you. Don't forget your boobs. Boop. Okay, bye.